Hi everyone, today we're going to go over how to use BugGuide.net. BugGuide is the most prevalent online community for naturalists in North America to identify and discuss insects, spiders, and related taxa. You can use BugGuide to find resources and assistance pertaining to arthropod research and identification. Here's our homepage. Under the Guide tab, you'll find more specific information on each taxa. You'll notice that arthropods are split into a few subgroups. These include Subphylum Chalcerata, where you'll find scorpions, ticks, and sea spiders, Subphylum Crustacea, where you'll find isopods, crabs, and lobsters, and Subphylum Hexapoda, where you'll find all of your six-legged arthropods. If you click on one of these, you'll find that they're organized into further subgroupings. Say we're interested in learning more about insects. These fall under the class Insecta over here, Using this guide, you can browse over different insect orders and look at the photos that have been submitted by naturalists. If you're looking for a specific order, you can click on the taxonomy subtab over here to find them listed here. Say you're interested in butterflies and moths. You can find them here under order Lepidoptera, and it'll take you to more specific taxa. In this case, we're now looking at all the superfamilies that fall within the order Lepidoptera. Now, under the info tab, you'll find more specific information on the taxonomy, ID characteristics, and behavioral ecology of your group of interest. We're still looking at butterflies and moths under the order Lepidoptera here. Here are some taxonomic changes, some ID characteristics, and an overview of all the superfamilies that fall within this order. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, You'll also find some links to references here, if you'd like to explore further. Now if you'd like to get to this information a little more quickly, there's also a clickable guide here on the left-hand side. Say you're interested in learning more about butterflies, you can click on the butterfly image right here, and the guide will take you directly to the info page on their superfamily. You can also find data and observations that have been submitted by naturalists under the Data subtab. Here's a map that shows the range of observations on butterflies submitted in North America. Butterflies are a pretty large group, which is why the entire map is highlighted. But let's say we were looking for something a little more specific. For example, let's say we're interested in learning about the Western White Admiral. So back under our data tab, you'll find that the range of observations is a lot narrower. It's a bit like iNaturalist, except this website is specific to arthropods in North America. Below the map, you can also explore when these observations have been submitted for each region. For example, observations for the Western White Admiral are typically submitted in Manitoba over June, July, and August. There's also a book subtab over here, which will direct you to resources on your species of interest. Bug Guide is also used to assist in insect identification. If you have a picture of a bug that you would like identified for you, you can submit it under their ID request tab. For this, you will need to create an account. You can do this by registering here and just entering a username and email address and the site security question. All right, so we have now logged in and we can submit our first ID request. We can do this by clicking on add image over here. For your title, it's best to have a small description of your observation identified to the best of your ability. For example, if your picture is of a small black fly, you can enter your title as small black fly. Make sure you add your location and date to help the community with their ID. You can also add the size and life cycle stage, but these aren't mandatory, so it's alright if you don't know these. If we head back to the ID request page, You'll notice that there are a lot of ID requests on this page. You'll typically get some comments on your ID request in a few days, but keep in mind that this community is run by naturalists who volunteer their time to help one another out, and it may take up to months for someone to offer an ID. Insects and other arthropods are typically really small and require high quality images to be identified. Many cannot be identified based on one picture alone, at least not to the species level. If you do end up submitting a good image that can be identified, it may be added to the guide permanently. Otherwise, it'll be moved to the FRAS section where it'll be deleted after 30 days. 
There's also a forums page here where people discuss possible misidentifications and share photography techniques and educate one another on a variety of different topics. Back under the Guide tab, there's one more interesting page to take a look at. This one's called Unidentified Tracks, Signs, and Other Mysteries. On this page, you'll find a variety of images that indicate presence of arthropod activity, such as droppings, signs of predation, and constructions. For more guidance on using this site in general, you can check out the Help section over here for a guide on the most frequently requested IDs and to find more information on how to navigate the website. And those are the basics of using Bug Guide. Thank you for watching. Feel free to check out our other YouTube videos and stay connected with the Ecology Lab through our social media platforms posted here.